Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to share with you how to create a neon text in DaVinci Resolve 17. And let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve 17 right now on the edit page, I'm going to go over to the effect library. Here in effect, I'm going to search for fusion composition and I'm just going to drag that directly in the timeline. Now we're going to go over to fusion. And here, that's where we're going to start to build the title. To do that, we're going to bring a background first, and then we're going to bring a text node. And in this text node, I'm going to write DaVinci just for the demonstration purposes. Here, we're going to click right there on the right view. So we have the text appearing in the viewer. We're going to raise the size of all text. And here you can pick any font that you like. Then you can go to shading. Then once in shading, you can click on outline. It will just give us uh, an outlined text, which is just gonna look better uh, to replicate a neon sign. Here you can adjust the thickness of your line if you want them thicker or thinner. For this one, we're gonna go about there. And here, as you can see, you can just go back and choose uh, the font that you like with that specific look. You can just scroll through and choose the specific font that you will like for this neon sign. For now, just gonna use Montserrat and I'm gonna change the color to red. Now we're gonna bring the glow in to create the neon aspect. To do that, we're gonna just select the text one and then we're gonna just hit shift space to open here the search bar and look for glow. We're just gonna bring glow, so let's add it. Perfect, we're gonna leave it as it is for now. Once glow is selected, we're just gonna hit shift space again and here we're gonna look for soft glow. Now let's merge the text with the background by selecting the output of the soft glow to the output of the background. Now we're just going to move the viewer to the merge so we can see the combination of all the nodes. Perfect. And now we're going to just tune in the adjustment. Usually I don't change anything for the glow here. Uh, I leave the glow size and uh, the glow as it is. And I'm just adjusting here the soft glow. For the soft glow, the only thing that I do is I'm just bringing down the gain and you can also adjust the glow size depending on how spread you want your light to be. Um, a good demonstration here if I bring the gain up, as you can see, if you reduce the glow size, it's going to be closer to the letter. And if you bring the glow size to the maximum, then the light going to be more diffuse and spread out all around the text. So for this one, I'm going to bring the glow size down and I'm going to bring the gain down and have something that is not too much, just right in my opinion. Perfect. And here you go, you got your neon text. Then you can just connect the merge to the media out so you're able to see it in the edit page and you have your neon text right here in the edit page. For the animation, feel free to do whatever you want. If you want to just do a simple uh, ease in opacity animation, you can just drag this right there and you will have just an opacity animation that is very simple and easy to do. If you want to do whatever other animation, you can just go back in Fusion and here you can just select the parameter that you would like to keyframe. For this one, I'm going to keyframe things on the text node, the glow node and the soft glow. To do that, first I'm going to click on the soft glow and here I'm going to click on the pin so it stay here in my inspector. Then I'm going to click on the glow and I'm going to click again on the pin right here so it stay again in my inspector and I'm going to click uh, in the text and I'm going to click again the pin so everything is in my inspector I don't have to click on each one of the nodes I have everything here to animate now for the animation I'm gonna go over to frame 2 and here I'm gonna go to shading I'm gonna add one keyframe on the opacity that is at 1 then I'm gonna go down I'm gonna add a keyframe on the blend here and another one on the blend there then I'm gonna go to frame 0 and I'm gonna bring the blend to 0 the blend to 0 here too and the opacity to zero as well. Then I'm just gonna repeat the process a couple of time to have a blinking effect. So here I'm gonna go, uh, I think maybe to the fourth frame or third frame. Yeah, third frame is about good, I think. And we can then again, bring the blend down to zero. Then we can bring the blend here down to zero as well and opacity down to zero. Then we're gonna do again, moving to the fourth frame And as you can see, that's pretty much it. Now we have an animation that works properly, then just replicate the exact same thing for the animation out. If you want to have an animation out and you have your title. 
then once you go back to the edit page uh, if you want to extend your title while retaining your animation out i will link in the description another video on keyframe stretcher so you're able to do that as well i hope this video was helpful don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one bye speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website including titles transition and templates but only for davinci resolve Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.